Who killed Jesus, do you think? In the garden of Gethsemane, a crowd approached, led by Judas, one of the 12 disciples. Judas walked over to Jesus to greet him with a kiss. But Jesus said, Judas, would you betray the son of man with a kiss? When the other disciples saw what was about to happen, they exclaimed, Lord, should we fight? We brought the swords. And one of them struck at the high priest's slave, slashing off his right ear. But Jesus said, no more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. Then Jesus spoke to the leading priests, the captains of the temple guard and the elders who had come for him. Am I some dangerous revolutionary, he asked, that you come with swords and clubs to arrest me? Why didn't you arrest me in the temple? I was there every day. But this is your moment, the time when the power of darkness reigns. So they arrested him and led him to the high priest's home. And Peter, Peter followed at a distance. The guards lit a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat around it, and Peter joined them there. The servant girl noticed him in the firelight and began staring at him. Finally, she said, this man was one of Jesus's followers. But Peter denied it. Woman, said I don't even know him. After a while someone else looked at him and said you must be one of them. No man I'm not Peter retorted. About an hour later someone else insisted this must be one of them because he is a Galilean too. But Peter said man I don't know what you are talking about. And immediately while he was still speaking the cockerel crowed. At that moment, the Lord turned and looked at Peter. Suddenly, the Lord's words flashed through Peter's mind. Before the cockerel crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even know me. Peter left the courtyard, weeping bitterly. One night, as I lay in bed, I yearned for my lover. I yearned for him, but he did not come. So I said to myself, I will get up and roam the city, searching in all its streets and squares. I will search for the one I love. So I searched everywhere, but did not find him. The watchmen stopped me as they made their rounds and I asked, have you seen the one I love? I know what you're thinking. It would be what any normal person would think in these circumstances. You let him down. You did your own thing. You went your own way. Just stop for a minute and think what you would have done. Oh, it's easy to judge from your safe distance, but when you're in the thick of it and it's happening around you, it's much more difficult. You find you're thinking about yourself. It all becomes very plain. How do I save my own skin here? What you don't understand is this. It's what he wanted. This is what he was seeking out. And I really thought he might be. Oh, that he was the Messiah. But not like this. I mean, he had every opportunity to show people, but he said nothing. He did. Nothing. And then 
Last night, by the fire, he just looked at me. And I don't know how to read that look. So much else has happened. So much in a short time, washing our feet. Telling us to love each other, breaking bread and telling that it was his body. Pouring wine and saying it was, it was his blood. Saying that one of us would deny him. And then when Judas left, sh sh I mean, surely he, sh he shouldn't know why. Again, nothing. Just let him go. And I was indignant. Yes, they may all slink away. They might even turn on him, but not me. I was stand fast. But I was wrong. Wrong about Jesus and wrong about myself. After this meal, he took us to the garden and asked us to stay awake. It was too much. He always seemed to be asking me for things I couldn't give. So we just slept. And when they came to get him, I mean, came to arrest him, it must have been Judas who led him there. No one was ready. Suddenly everything was unravelling and I either wanted Jesus to tell him who he was, to do something, to say something, or else I wanted to fight back. But to do nothing, to be just handed over like that, it doesn't make any sense. And so I thought, I don't mind telling you, I tried to stop them. And is that wrong? Are you going to condemn that for me for that? Don't you fight? But in that moment, I also knew that for him, being the Messiah, was never what I believed it would be. Not what any of us believed. And that was a dark, dark moment. I, I tried to say this to them before. And he called me Satan. And then I'm seized by these huge, cavernous... Doubts, like someone has reached into my chest and put a cold hand around my heart. Is it all in vain? Is he just the madman, the blasphemer, the simpleton that others say he is? Am I not to drink the cup the father gives me? That's what he said when he took him away. But what does that mean? What cup? What father? I still don't know. He talks in riddles. And those riddles hurt. His words have always been an uncomfortable truth. Like an irritant under the skin. You scratch and you scratch, but they won't go away. And I did follow. Everyone else panicked. For the few moments after he was taken, there was mayhem. No one knew what to do. No one had anything to say. And yet we all screamed at each other like it was someone else's fault. So I followed. At a distance, uh, carefully. But it was too late. I could see it was over. And maybe I was a fool for ever believing it could have been different. So when they said to me, you know him. You were with him. You are one of them. It was easy to say no. Because you see, I don't know him. I'm not with him. I'm not one of them. Not anymore. There is no them. It is over. So answer me this. This is the question that still possesses me. Why, when he turned and looked at me, did it hurt so much? Why am I so frightened? What did he see in me? What else is there to be dragged into the light? You see, he saw deep inside me, saw my stupidity, saw my fear. 
and he loved me. That's what it was, love. But I don't get this love because I don't know who he is. So if you're looking for someone to blame for the death of this Jesus, don't look here. Yes, I got it wrong. We all did. He did. Get over it. These are the facts. He was rested, tried, beaten, nailed down, crucified. We failed to stop it happening. We saved our own skins, just like you'd save yours. We didn't like the thought of those nails in our soft flesh, so we ran. I don't like the thought of them in his. That's what happened. I didn't say it happened, but it happened. It's done. He was handed over to the authorities and a Roman soldier nailed him to a tree. And that was it. End of.
and my heavy soul would sleep Savior, keep me watching and praying When my eyes grow dim And I'm fooled by the lures of sin Lord, when I am puffed up with myself, gilded, over-egged, full of self-importance and empty of grace, when I would rather shrink your vision to the limits of my own imagining than rise to praise the new horizons you have made, look at me with love, pierce the armour of my pride, stay the hand of my hasty activity, and allow me to cast doubts on the hurried solutions that I cobble together to make excuses for my faults. See inside me, believe in me, and help me to start again. Amen. <laughs>